Lions Den powered by KCB Bank. Next in the den is Weight Watchers Kenya with their fitness and nutrition business. Can they attract an investment from one of the lions? Hello lions, I'm Derek from Weight Watchers Kenya Limited. With me is Marlon. We're sticking to offer 20% stake for 1.5 million in our company. Weight Watchers Kenya Limited is a company started in 2015 and our services include online wellness program. We have the corporate wellness and uh, we also have our fitness challenges. We also have our indoor and outdoor fitness programs. Like now we have like four or five locations all over Nairobi with our center at Hanningham Plaza. For now, I'd like to, I like to, I'll see like Chris and uh, Roshan seem to be a little bit tensed. And one of you will take the gloves, one will take the, the punch. So one will be boxing, the other one will be blocking. I'm boxing, you're trying to stop me. Yeah, let's have one of each. Okay. I hope you have insurance though. Weight Watchers Kenya aims to bring fitness programs and events into the market and are asking for 1.5 million shillings for 20% equity. They have Darshan and Chris sparring. Will the Lions go for it or move around the deal? Really? Are you, are you, Master, are you dancing? It's supposed to be like dancing, right? We have at home work on DVDs. It's Kenyan made by us trainers which has helped us to enhance our online, on online fitness, our online fitness program. How much did you get in January? I know everybody does fitness in January. January was 550,000. Aha. Um, what was your annual turnover in 2016? It was 4.8 million, that's gross. And the profit on that? It was 600,000. What was the net figure? The net was 600. Not the gross, okay. So yes, it's net, yeah. net profit, 600,000, yes, yes, okay. Yes. okay. So the margin was mostly because uh, as in, uh, we are plowing back. And how much have you done for 2017 so far? 2017, now we are at uh, 4.5. Revenue so far? Yes, 4.5. After some confusion in the den, Darshan is able to understand the company's revenues. Wandia, though, has an issue with the brand. Hi. Hello. Um, are you at all linked to the Global Weight Watchers brand? We are not linked because uh, this one is more uh, fitness oriented. And yeah, and, uh, and I think that's a bit confusing because Weight Watchers is known globally as, you know, diet and to lose weight and you're, you guys are all about fitness. It might be registered and copyright protected and all of that. And, and uh, it's not clear to me what you want the money for. Uh, as in about the investment, we have the few equipment, so moving like a one uh, one location to another, mm -hmm. it's expensive, mm -hmm. as in in terms of uh, in terms of the damages. Who owns the business? Business is owned by shareholders, and we are one of them. How many? Maybe at this point, we can say they're around seven. Are you sure? Let me not just talk about that. You know, if you're not even sure about your shareholders, that's that's just it raises too many questions. So I'm out. Our margins are too small. I think it's, it's nothing too unique. It can be copied very easily, and there's a lot of stuff online that you can use for this kind of thing. So um, I wish you well. By this point, I'm out. Okay, guys, um, I'm out at this stage, yeah? Thank you. Hi, guys. Hi. Sorry, I'm out too. I think you're doing really well. In half of this year, you've done as much as you did last year. Um, so you should be feeling really good about that. So I'm not going to invest, but I encourage you to keep going. And yeah, I think, I think you will do very well. So good luck. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you for your time. So what's the plan from here? We're going to continue with what we are doing and be more effective. And we're going, no, maybe it will take time, but we're going to reach the next level. Lion's Den, powered by KCB Bank.